Welcome everyone. Today is November 9th and this is the third sprint in the wall screens work cycle and I'm here to provide some updates on the project. First thing I wanted to you know, point out here is that the team has been really busy continuing to refine the visual appearance of the wall screens application. And part of that has been the challenge of designing for a screen that is much larger than most of the kind of browser windows and smaller devices we usually work with. And so what I'm displaying right here is Chrome's responsive design mode. And you can see here that I'm emulating a device that is 3,840 pixels wide, about the size of the wall screen. And so what this does is it really helps me make sure that padding and font sizes are appearing proportionally to how they would appear on the physical wall screen. The team has also been making visits to Hobok Hall to verify some of these changes in person. Uh, we'll go over a few of those uh, in a moment. But the first thing I want to point out uh, is that our um, the home screen for each of our experiences now has uh, content displayed. So you can see here in the Bay Area Video Arcades experience that we have uh, various images from this slideshow fading in and out. And we also have uh, this touch to begin button, which is also new this sprint. And it has this slight glowing effect and this uh, uh, touch icon. And so all of this is part of trying to attract visitors to the screen and indicating to them that this is a touch screen. You're, you're allowed to touch it. You're supposed to touch it um, and just kind of draw passers by. So that's an example of one of our slideshow experiences. You can also see we have a similar setup for one of our oral history experiences where we have screenshots from the interviews and a little preview of some of the questions that folks are responding to. So more on styling changes. We have polished up our more info modal which displays some more information about the Silicon Valley archives and QR codes to relevant resources and contacts like the uh, archives curator. Another bit of testing and styling we've been doing this week uh, is on the QR codes that are displayed throughout the wall screen experience. We've been doing some physical testing in person to determine what the minimum viewable distance is and making sure that that's accessible for visitors. This sprint, we also added the ability to support multiple wall screens. You can see here, uh, we've started adding content for the second Hobok Hall wall screen entitled, We See You, Reflection, Recognition, Representation. Uh, the curatorial content is being finalized for this experience. You can see the work of labor photographer David Bacon featured here. But we'll be seeing more experiences added to this wall screen in the coming weeks. One of the considerations for the wall screens, like I mentioned earlier, is attracting visitors to the screen and displaying a variety of content. One of the things that the team worked on this sprint is an attract mode, which uh, is a term that we've borrowed from video game arcade history. And so what this does is after a certain amount of time, the wall screens will cycle through the home screens for each of these experiences. And so we're hoping that by showing visitors this range of content, we can communicate to them that there's a dynamic set of experiences waiting to be interacted with. Finally, um, while this may not be as visible in uh, this recorded demo, the team has also been doing a lot of work on ensuring that the wall screens work well uh, with limited or no internet connectivity. So we've been 
working with locally available content so that visitors' experiences of the wall screens is uninterrupted. That is it for this week's demo. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.